Hello, my name is Maria. Do you know that in each country Christmas is celebrated in a different way? In Spain, we decorate the room with a Christmas tree. Look mine! We also usually prepare the, the nativity scene. Look, at this Christmas, my family and me prepare the Playmobil nativity scene. The Spanish people usually buy a lot of lottery. Why? Because lottery is not by a lot of the times of the year. And because of lottery, Christmas is not the same. Mmm, yummy. I'm going to play you because I'm eating grapes. I'm practicing for New Year. In New Year, the Spanish people usually eat 12 grapes in the 12 last seconds of the year. In Christmas, people of the family get together and eat a lot of food and sweets. In the 5th of January, people usually buy a king cake. The king cake have a crown in the center and in the top a king, a fruit bean, small toys. Hello, I'm Ivan. In, a, in my country, Spain, we have Christmas tradition. One is put the Christmas tree. Another is put the Navity Sense. The 24th of December we dinner with the family and the 31 of December we dinner another time with the family. Bye! I'm Julia and I'm going to see the Christmas tradition in Spain. We have go to see the, the Christmas light, put the Christmas tree in your house, create a belay or go to see, eat mazapan, polvorones and churron, singing villancicos with the zambomba and the tambourine. The 28th of December, that is the state of the innocent, that is also my birthday. And the last, but the most important for me, that is eat the 12 grapes in New Year. Hi! Today I'm going to explain you the ornament tradition in Spain. <laughs> We have a Christmas tree, but it's in white because I think uh, that it's more cool. In all the doors, we have this. For entering to the house, we have this. Also, in Christmas, we play the lottery. Every year we play, but never touch. A cool, cool things of Christmas is the King's Parade. In my academy, we also do a dance of Christmas. Also make Christmas sweets. And the gift. Bye. We got history. Hello, I'm Aurora, and I'm going to tell you. Christmas tradition in Spain. As you can see, we put the Christmas tree and we also decorate our house with Christmas things. Now you can see my house decorate of Christmas. <laughs> Christmas traditions in Spain, like, for example, in Spain, it's very famous to put 
de Belén. We are so with okay. Norgal okay. and Marzipan because in Spain this 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 food is very um, very famous of Christmas. We also sing uh, Spanish songs of Christmas that are very famous here. We also play the tambourine. It's an instrument very famous in Spain of Christmas. These are some of the Christmas tradition in Spain. Goodbye! Hello, I'm Pablo and I'm going to speak to explain you the Christmas tradition. Today I have three. The second is the three kings. It's more or less the third and the third is the day of the innocence. Bye. Christmas in Spain. In Spain, family and friends get together and celebrate the Christmas. We mourn the nativity scene. In Spain, the tambourine is played. We used to sing carols. We used to play the tambour. In New Year's Eve, we eat 12 grapes with loja and Christmas sweets. We used to play the lottery too. <laughs> I'm Alejandro and these are three, three Christmas traditions in Spain. The Three Kings. One of the most unique facts about Christmas in Spain is that there's no Santa Claus. Forgo, forget Saint Nick in Spain. It's the Three Kings or Three Wise Men known as Reyes Magos, Melchor, Gaspar and Baltasar who bring the gifts to good children at Christmas time. They also don't come on Christmas Eve. Instead, instead towns and cities hold huge the three kings parades cavalgatas on the night of January 5, where the king's parade saw the towns and floats and throw, and throw out sweets for the kids. You know that Christmas is when my mom has 11 years, but a little bit different right now. It now was like, uh, one says, uh, this Christmas we are going to do in my house. And I said, okay. Um, me, I'm going to buy these things and these things. And I says, me, I'm going to buy these, these things and these things. And other says, okay, uh, me, I'm going to buy things for prepare the house. Uh, uh, when my mom has 11 years, was like, um, all family, uh, uncles, cousins, grandparents, parents, sisters, brothers, say like, we're going to buy all things together and preparing the house together. And they are like 10 days together preparing the house, the food, uh, all things. Mm, in Christmas, in my family, we do a normal Christmas with a dinner, all the family. And we <coughs> ha but we have to sing to my grandmother because she gave us 50 mm, euros and all the all the Christmas I have to I have to sing and dance a little <laughs> uh, 
Ana. Ana, you're on all the Christmas 50 euros. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? Hello, my name is Maria Concello. I'm going to tell you about the tradition of the Spain. The nativity scene is a representation of the scene of the birth of Jesus. In the nativity scenes that is traditional set up in the house. When is the nativity scene set up? It set up before Christmas. Traditionally on the 8th of December and it kept as much until the 2 of February. Bye! Many people go to Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve, know a la Misa del Gallo, the Mass of the Rooster, because a rooster supposedly crowed the night Jesus was born. Many families also ate the main Spanish Christmas dinner or Christmas, on Christmas Eve, Noche Buena, just before or, or after midnight mm -hmm. Mass.